Okay, so this is uh, Revit 2020. All right, so this is the home interface. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, two different uh, section here, which is models where you create your project. All right, and then families where you create your component that you load into your project. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create a custom tapered beam. So it's going to be one side that have a different size with another side. Okay, to begin with, I have to choose the right template. Okay, so on the families here, so click on new. All right, and then I'm looking for uh, metric structural framing beams and braces. Okay, and then click open. Okay, so if you are looking here in this template, it's already have a beam here. Okay, so if I go to 3D view, as you can see, we have a beam right here. Okay, so when I click on this form, edit extrusions, so it's just a rectangle drawn to create a uniform size of beam. All right, so if I go back to my floor plan here, so I have this line. Okay, so this is uh, the symbolic line that go between this plane called stick symbol left and stick symbol right. Okay, so this line is to create a structural single line nodes for analysis purpose. Okay, also I got here the member left and member right where my solid geometry will be drawn along this reference plane. Okay, and then I got this connecting uh, point left reference uh, plane left and right where my beam uh, will be placing in the model. Okay, so I will go back to my 3D view. All right, and then I'm going to select on this existing beam. Okay, and then delete it. Because I want to create a new customized beam. Okay. Okay, but before that, uh, if I go to the family category and parameters, as you can see, the family category is already uh, structure framing. Okay. So you have to make sure the family category is correct. All right, and then click OK. All right. So now uh, I want to create the profile. So I will go to the right elevation here. Okay, so this is project browser where you can navigate uh, to the other views. All right, so you can go to the right elevation and I want to create a couple of reference plane here. Okay, so I'm going to create reference plane. So to create a reference plane, so you can go to create tab. And then under the item panel, we have reference plane. Okay, so just click on the reference plane and draw reference plane uh, for left, for right, and then another two for the bottom of beam. Okay, so the next thing is we have to control the size. So I have to create dimension first, okay? So to create dimension, I can go to measure, align dimension, and create dimension here, make it equal. Okay, I also uh, want to make a full dimension at here, okay? Okay, and then I want to create parameter that can control the dimension. So I'm going to click on this uh, dimension here. And then up here, we have create parameter. Okay, so you click on create parameter. And for the naming here, I enter as B. Okay, so for this also same, just click on this dimension. And then click on create parameter and then enter H1 and the other one is H2. Okay, so the next thing I can control, I can control this value that drive this parameter here. Okay, so if I go to the family types, so I can change this dimension. Okay, so for example, I change it to 400, H1 400, H2 600 and then when I click apply as you can see the plan is actually changed okay so let me extend this line first okay 
Now we can create the form. Okay, so to create form in Revit family, you can go to create tab. Okay, and then here you have extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep, sweep blend, and also void form. Okay, so I'm going to create form of beam by using sweep blend. Okay, so the reason why I'm using sweep blend is uh, it can determine shape for two profile as our beam have different size of each side. Okay, so I'm going to click on sweat blend. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is you have to sketch path or pick the path. Okay, so remember that in our 3D, we, uh, we already have this line, right? Okay, so go back to your 3D and then you click on pick path and then you select on this line. Okay, and then you click on finish edit mode. Okay, so now we already assigned the path. So the next thing to do is we have to create the profile for these two sides. All right, so I'm going back to the right elevation view. Okay, so up here we have select profile one and select profile two. Okay, so first I'm going to select profile one and then you click on edit profile. So in the drawing tools here, you can uh, take rectangle and then I'm going to create profile for H1, okay? And then don't forget to lock your line here. Okay, so when you finish on profile one, so you click on finish edit mode and then do the same thing for profile two, okay? So select profile two and then click on edit profile make make it rectangle and then draw the profile for h2 okay so i'm going to lock this with the reference plane here okay so now uh, i'm going to click on finish edit mode okay so now we already set our profile one and profile two all right so click on this finish edit mode again and then if i go to 3d as you can see this is on the tapered beam that i have created by using sweat blend okay so if I go back uh, to the family types here, all right, and then if you want to create uh, another size, all right, so actually you just can control the value here, okay? So for example, I change uh, the value for H1, 600, and H2, 400, click apply, and as you can see, it already changed in the 3D view. Okay, so there is no problem, so you always can change the parameter value in here. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to um, assign the material, all right? So just click on the form here, all right? And then it, at the properties palette here, we have material and finishes. Okay, so I'm going to associate uh, this family parameter. So click on this associate family parameter and then choose structural material, all right? And then click OK. Okay, so now uh, we're going to see how it will look like when you load it into your project, okay? So I'm going to create a new project by using structural template file and then click OK. Okay, so now I'm going back to my family beam. Okay, and, and then up here, as you can see, we have load into project, okay? So you click on load into project, and then once it have loaded into your project, so you can start draw the beam, all right? So I'm going to draw it from here to here. Okay, so if I go to 3D, it will look like this. Okay. So uh, in this uh, site, you can uh, create another beam. Okay, so for example here, I create another beam. So I'm going to go to structure tab and then click on beam. In the type selector, I choose uh, this concrete rectangular beam 
and then click on edit type. Okay, so right now I want to uh, draw beam uh, that have size 400 times 600. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this type and then change the name 400 times 600 mm. Click OK and then change the dimension here for H 600. All right, and then click OK. Okay, so once you have uh, the beam size that you want, so you can draw it here. And then as you can see, we have the gap here, all right? So if you want this beam to align with your tapered beam, so you click on this beam. As you can see, we have this uh, symbol uh, node here, all right? So you right click on this and then you select this allow join, okay? And then if I go to 3D, as you can see, it already aligned with my tapered beam. All right. And then as you can see, uh, my material for this tapered beam is not the same as this structural concrete beam. So what I can do is I can select this uh, family. And then at the properties palette here, we have structural material. And then we're going to change it to concrete casting place gray. All right, so now it looks the same. Okay, so this is how uh, you're going to create a new custom beam. All right, 